Horace Mann was a Massachusetts lawyer and politician who criticized the weakness of public schools in American society. He believed too much local control of educational curriculums and practices would result in improper education. He used his political influence to campaign for the support of public education through taxes. Mann edited the semi-monthly Common School Journal starting in 1838 and wrote 12 annual reports. In the fifth annual report of 1841, Mann argued that economic wealth would create an educated public, therefore it was in the best interest of the public to pay taxes for education. In the tenth annual report of 1846, he stated that education was an inalienable right for every child and that it was the responsibility of the state to make sure that it was made available. This later caused the passing of the state law requiring mandatory attendance to school in 1852. In the 12th annual report of 1848, he said public schools were not to be taught by way of any specific religion, so taxpayers would not be supporting a religion which they did not abide by or agree with. Horace grew up in poverty on his family's farm and had only three months of education per year until age 16. He graduated from Brown University and studied law. He was admitted to the bar in 1823. Between 1827 and 1833, Horace Mann was first a state representative in the Massachusetts legislature, then a senator in 1833, and was elected as Senate president in 1835. In 1837, he accepted the position of first secretary of the State Board of Education in Massachusetts, giving up his seat in the Massachusetts legislature and his promising law practice. It was then that he made the majority of his educational reforms. He based his beliefs upon the Prussian school system's method in which everyone was entitled to the same education. Thanks to wealthy elites donating to his cause for public schools, the first state public school opened in Lexington, Massachusetts, in 1839. Mann resigned from the State Board of Education in 1848 to take a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives, succeeding John Quincy Adams. After being defeated in his run for governor of Massachusetts, he became president of Antioch College, now Antioch University, in Yellow Springs, Ohio, and kept his job until his death on August 2, 1859. Mann also advocated for proper hospitals for the mentally ill and women's rights. His most famous quote, which is now the motto of Antioch University, is be ashamed to die before you have won some battle for humanity. Horace Mann established many lasting impacts on the American educational system, including state-supervised and state-funded schools, with mandatory attendance policies for the entire country. These are the foundations of the modern public school. He also opened educational opportunities for all children in the U.S., regardless of race, gender, or religion.